What's up ladies and gentlemen, Triple Cap here and today we're going to do something a little bit different. As you can see in the title, this video is about Rotor Riot and what happened to them, you know? Have they sold out on us? Have they sold out on their fans? Here's where I think Rotor Riot's gone wrong. In the beginning, Rotor Riot, they pushed the limits. Their pilots, they had Chad, they had Steel, there was Sharpoo, you know, these legends. These guys are legends now. They went the extra mile. They they were they took risks. They took chances. I'm not saying in any way that they were unsafe or anything like that, but sometimes they were they were a little more risky than they probably should have. Definitely more risky than they have been lately. Ever since I don't rem I don't recall exactly what bridge or I think it was in Canada. I'm not 100% sure, but there was a bridge incident on Rotor Riot, and it cost Rotor Riot a lot of money, from what I understand. And it seems to me, ever since that moment, Rotor Riot has gone downhill. I think they began compromising a little. You know, they became more about safety and rules. And I'm sorry, you're Rotor Riot. This isn't Rotor Church. This isn't Rotor Compliance. It's Rotor Riot. It is quite the opposite. Part of what made Rotor Riot great was their name. What they that name represented most of us. We're we're not we're not we're not Dudley Do Rights. We're risk takers. We're, we're pushing the limits and breaking the rules. Maybe not breaking the rules, but at least bending them a little bit. And there's nothing wrong with that. And I think, Rotor Riot, if you're listening to this, I think that's where you've fallen off. We expect risk. We expect a little bit of danger. We expect you to push the limits. We expect your pilots to be charismatic and vibrant. Don't get me wrong, Drew. He's great. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what else can I who do you have left Willie Willie's kind of boring no offense Willie love your flying but you're a little you're not very you're just not as entertaining as some of these other guys no offense at all I'm not either I am nowhere near entertaining and my FPV fuse will show it but my point is this is where I think Rotor Ride has gone down this is where I think they've taken a dive no pun intended I believe that what the FPV community the majority of us want is someone to represent us we don't seek compliance. We don't want to follow the rules. We want to do our thing. We want to enjoy the hobby that we love. And if that means flying without a spotter, then so be it. If that means flying without a ham license, so be it. We don't want to be in compliance. We don't want to jump through hoops. And we want you to represent us in that way. We don't want you to bend over and take it. We want you to stand up and fight. Our hobby, yes, it can be dangerous, but 99% of the time, it's perfectly safe and perfectly fine. There's no reason for heavy regulation or anything like that. I haven't seen any issues where drones have caused serious harm to anyone ever, other than the operator themselves forgetting to take their props off. Always take your props off, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want a rotor riot that's going to guide us to compliance. I don't know about all the drama, you know, as far as Chad Capper, which I think you're an awesome dude, Chad. Don't get me wrong. I think you've got a great eye for talent. I think you've got the perfect eye for, for, for making money and creating businesses and giving the community what it likes. And if, if I'm correct on this, I think you're going to agree with me. You're Rotor Riot. If you truly want to appeal to the everyday pilot, to the, to the community that, that's basically made you what you are today, the guys that you attracted in the very beginning, we're all different. We're people that don't exactly fit in a perfect mold of the average person. We, we are outside the box type of people. And I don't think that the way Rotor Riot is going, this is my personal opinion and I do believe that others might agree. My personal opinion is that you're now turning this show, this company Rotor Riot, into something that fits a mold that it does that doesn't really fit with most of the people that have been fans and that have been with you from the beginning. I think that's the problem. I think the mold that you're creating is a safe mold. I think you're creating a safety net for your company, for your future, and I get it, I understand that. If you wanna to exist tomorrow, you've gotta to make sure you're still here. But that's not exactly what your major audience is attracted to. We don't wanna be follow the straight line type of people. We wanna take all the, we wanna take the back roads. We wanna be on our dirt bikes, riding on the street. You know, we're rule breakers, we're rule benders. I think the biggest part of where people are falling off of the fan base is because we don't feel represented. That's basically what I mean. What I assume 
is that you're going more down a straight and narrow path. You're, you're, you're following, you're trying to do things the right way. And I can't fault you for that. But what I can do is point out the fact that most of your fans are not the straight and narrow type of people. We're very different. We're all different. I mean, there's so many different people in this community that it's crazy. You've got hardcore rock and roll people. You've got like skater type people. You've got nerdy type people. You've got all different types of people. While you're walking down that narrow path, you're going to be narrowing your community base, your fan base. To me, it's painfully obvious. People like Bot Grinder, you needed Bot Grinder. People like Steel, you needed Steel. We need personalities. We need real personalities. Personalities of people that aren't just, you know, bend over and jump through this hoop, do whatever we tell you to do type of people. We need people that are out there and they think for themselves. We need people that have their own personalities, that they're true to themselves. Because when they're themselves, we can see that it's okay for us to be ourselves and then we feel represented. I understand there's other issues with Rotor Riot, like there's a lot of drama going on with Chad and how they're focusing on money. And I don't blame you for focusing on money, but I think you can focus on money and still be true to yourself at the same time. I don't buy that as a reason why Rotor Riot's falling off, and I'm not even sure Rotor Riot is falling off, but I do see a change. I just thought I would mention that, because Bot Grinder mentioned his extra subs, all his, he got 200 and something more subs after he his announcement video and there's a reason for that and the reason is people like bot grinder that's the main reason that is the only reason people like bot grinder and yes he he may do drugs and he may cuss and he may have tattoos all over his face and he may not be the perfect joe but he is the perfect representative of this community because we are all of those things and i just think you should consider Reevaluating who Rotor Riot is yourselves because I don't think you guys know who you are anymore. Rotor Riot has become a lot less Rotor and a lot less Riot and a lot more talking and a lot more, you know, it's just, I don't mind the talking and the vlogs and all that stuff, but we really miss the old Rotor Riot. We miss the extreme locations, we miss the extreme dives, the, the risk, the, we miss all of that. And, and the idea that Rotor Riot's merged with some uh, regulatory type business it's really disheartening so I mean that's just my opinion guys I don't I know some of you may not agree and that's fine you're totally welcome to agree and cuss me out in the comments I don't mind whatsoever I myself I I feel like I'm a common sense type of guy I don't need a regulation or a rule to tell me what I should and shouldn't do I think I can figure that out on my own and that's why I'm not a fan of regulations I understand there are stupid people out there that need somebody to tell them what to do but those stupid people also do not listen to those rules because they're stupid. They're going to do stupid shit because they're stupid. I'm just a guy that likes FPV. I've been following you guys for like three years. I got into this hobby right around the time Rotor Riot got started. I think it was 2016-ish, maybe a little bit before. And um, y'all were a big part of me getting into this hobby and just enjoying the community. Y'all are definitely a big part of me getting into the community and getting involved in that aspect of it. Rotor Riot, if you're listening to this, I just want you to know I love you guys. I, I don't hate you whatsoever. I am not one of your haters. I respect you. I do wish that um, things would kind of go back to being Rotor Riot rather than Rotor Compliance slash Church. Not that you are like heavily pushing regulation. I know that's not the case either, so don't get me wrong there. I just feel like to me, it seemed like after that bridge incident, y'all y'all started becoming a little safer. And I understand that, but, you know, it's not very representative of the majority of FPV people, in my opinion. We don't really follow the laws. Unless you're out there, every time you go fly, you've got a spotter, a ham license, you know, your FFA registration, all that. If you don't have all of that stuff, you're not following the law. You're not following the rule. And I'd say, I'd bet you about 75 to six, 60 to 75 percent probably do not have any of that stuff. Maybe more. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm really curious what everybody else has to say. I know that I'm touching on one aspect of what people may, why Rotorite is suddenly getting all these haters. And there are a lot of them out there that have just totally considered Rotorite to be garbage now. And I don't feel that way, personally. I do feel like you've, you've fallen a little bit off course, at least off the course that you were originally on with the community and with... Um, your fan base that was originally from the beginning, you know. But I still respect Rotor Riot big time. I still love everything that they put out. I watch all of their videos. I'm a huge fan. 
I am definitely a Rotor Riot fan and I will continue to be. I just hope the direction you're going isn't the direction I'm imagining because I am imagining a direction of, it's like you went from ACDC to like Michael Bolton. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Caps out.